So welcome, welcome, and thank you so much to all of those guys who have made it on live. So I'm just going to go and share my screen. Um, so let's just get the presentation up for you guys. So I think last week, I actually haven't managed to watch it back yet, but it was, I had some really overwhelming feedback that it was a really, really good call. And I think I'm going to do that more actually guys where, um, you know, we get somebody or a group of you guys to guest speak as we, my computer's frozen, which is always helpful. What's happened here? Okay. Let's try that again. Not wanting to play ball. Hmm. Present. Okay. Let me just stop screen sharing again. Right, share screen. Doesn't want to do it. I don't know why. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. It's just being slow for some reason. Why is it doing that? Sorry about this. Okay, well, I think we might just have to do it like this because it doesn't seem to want to do it. Ah, there we go. Sorry about this, guys. Computer's just having a slow moment over here. Right, let's start from the top. You've seen the whole presentation, there we go. So, um, noteworthy items, for so those of you guys that are brand new, I will always go through like things to note that are coming up, but do just bear in mind, as I go through this section, that always the things that I'm gonna cover here are things that are going to appear in your dashboard, in your coach office, and really, you know, for me, the people who do best in this business are the people who are resourceful, who go out there and find the information for themselves. You know, you're part of a team, but you are ultimately your own boss. You're setting up your own business. So the sooner that you can start being aware of, you know, the coach office and going to check, literally it's the screen just at the bottom as you log in. It's kind of all the upcoming updates. It's going to tell you the updates in your region. Okay. So for me, obviously I'm in the UK and I just went in today and it was telling me that the vegan Shakeology for vanilla is coming to the UK on the 10th. Now that's been and gone. I did see a note in the Beachbody um, UK business builder page saying that there'd been a delay on getting it through all of the like special controls that the UK have in allowing all these products in. So whether or not it's actually available on the platform, I haven't checked since I've been away. So I will check later on. If anybody knows anything on that, um, who's already checked, already got their order in, let me know. Um, but I know Arno Nakahad said, and just bear with guys, it's got a slight delay coming through the controls. Um, collagen launched in the UK on the 4th of August, um, and I was pretty glad to get a scoop of that into my drink this morning. I didn't take it on my trip with me, and um, I'm looking forward to trying that for a full month to see what kind of results I'm going to get. Um, yes, I've been literally waiting for vegan vanilla for so long. I, I tried it in the States when I was there and love it, and I'm so glad we've got it coming to the UK. So the other thing, and I know we've got a few mummies here, like some mummies who've got like younger children and obviously therefore a lot of people that you guys are connecting with who are very much kind of on a pre or postnatal journey. The pre and postnatal bar is now available on Beachbody On Demand. So if you're wanting to kind of run your own group, um, you know, that's your kind of demographic, then definitely go for it. I know when certainly I was um, pregnant with Arthur and um, postnatal, you know, I was crying out for something like that. So if you've got a lot of contacts who um who are pregnant or have just had a baby then definitely think about running a group like that it's um it's really really awesome that they've got another pre and postnatal program because there was only one before um and then this is just a quick look at the launch timeline pre and postnatal bar in august in actual fact i need to complete a form i got a call whilst i was away saying that i am in the test group for the relaxation and meditation program. Um, I'm the only one in the UK that they've chosen, so I'm super excited to do that. Um, so I will let you guys know how I go. Um, we also have the um, pumpkin spice launching in September for Canada and America. 
30 day breakaway, which for those of you guys that are new, um, is actually a running program that is launching in October. We then have Peppermint Mocker in November. As far as I'm aware, it's literally just going to be the US and Canada. And then we have the nine week control freak, which is autumn's brand new nutrition and workout program coming, which I think for a lot of us, we were super excited with the mini summit that we had, um, back in July talking about summit. Um, I know you guys have seen this, but for those of you guys that are new, um, we had a virtual summit this year just because of COVID next year, it's in St. Louis in July and the dates are there and already in our global team, I think we have, what have we got? Three, six, nine, 12, 15. We've got 16 of you guys already registered to go. We have quite a lot of guys from the UK going, but also girls in the US and Canada. And it's a really great opportunity, guys. You can have a look on Coach Office to come together as a global team. And certainly, I went to Summit last year um, in Indianapolis. There were six of us in the team that went. And every single person that came from my team is still part of my team now. And that really goes to show you know, how much that helps you see the vision and really capture, you know, how big this whole opportunity is, the power of the community and really the potential of the opportunity. So if you're even thinking about it, I would just say book it. Um, so yeah. And this was announced earlier on this week, super, super exciting to the end of July. These are the top elite points as of the end of July for the UK. Um, I was in at three, Donna in at four, and Guy, who is an account that I control, in at 13. And really, guys, the road to elite, for those of you guys who are brand new, possibly not is something to look at right now. But for those of you guys that have been in the business even like a month, two months, three months, and you don't know what the road to elite is, I strongly advise you to go into the FAQ on your coach office and have a look. Because the road to elite is a reflection of your leadership ability and really to help as many people with their health and wellness in this world and also to build a business that can build that vision I know a lot of you guys have for the future it is about residual income and it is therefore about building a team and it's going to be really important for you guys to understand what that road to elite is but for us what that means is um, certainly in Donna's downline my downline we are building teams that are replicating what we're teaching you we are building teams that are also developing as leaders and so next year i have no doubt in my mind that several of these spots um for the uk and i'm sure for you know my coaches in the us and canada we're going to be up there and i want you guys to really know what that is so that you can prepare yourself so you can have a game plan you know it's about helping the people you bring in help other people with their health hit success club you know go emerald and that really gives us the ability to help transform many, many lives. If we just help people get started as a challenger, that's only one person we're helping. If we help somebody come in as a coach and we're giving them the skills to understand what it takes to help many other people, can you see how many more people we're able to impact by actually building teams? And that's what you know. I really want for all of you guys because it allows you that vision. It allows you that income. It allows you the ability to travel and work from anywhere and have that life um, you know, that I've managed to build to this point and I'm only two years down the track and it really is a case of consistency over time and having a clear vision, which I'm going to come on to talk about in a short while. This is a book that I shared a couple of weeks ago, but I'm sharing it again. We have a book club going for this at the moment. And I know for all of the girls who have got this book and are in the book club, they are absolutely loving it. Um, it's called Stories That Stick. It's by Kendra Hall, who was actually a Beachbody coach. Um, but she helps many, many of the top businesses across the globe really focus on their marketing by focusing on telling stories. And of course, as Instagram and Facebook goes, the importance of building connections with those people who are on our page is fundamental to our success because that's where we build trust. So if you're at a loss for like a physical book to read, I know a lot of us listen to Audible and that doesn't forego listening to Audible. I strongly advise you get this book. It's a really easy read and it really gets you understanding the importance of telling your stories and your posts and how to connect with your tribe, which is what this is all about, right? The joy and beauty of this business is when you start to find your people and you won't find your people if you can't tell your story. Um, so that is an amazing, amazing book. I think it's about $16, 16 pounds on Amazon. 
So the tracker priorities, so those of you guys who are brand new on this call, um, you haven't probably yet started doing your business activity tracker. It's something that is taught in the units on the Beachbody Champions page. But the, the tracker is really going to show you um, how to build that consistency and success over time. And I can tell you that without completing your tracker every day, you are not going to see success in this business. It is that cut and dry. Complete your tracker every day and really follow those vital behaviors that that tracker teaches. And I can promise you that further down the track, you are going to start to see that success. So that's why in the team page, I have this, um, you know, um, over and above your first month. In your first month, I will do one-on-ones with you quite a lot. But after your first month I am saying you need to submit your tracker weekly and we have a prize so that I can do the one-on-ones with the girls who are actually kind of doing the work right and um, so we had Becca, Alice, Charlotte, Haley, Marta, Tasha, Laura and Joe submitting their trackers and I did the wheel just beforehand and the winner is Joe. and it's the first time that I've actually seen Joe submit her tracker so <laughs> Well done. Um, really, really lucky there. Well done. And for, for those of you guys who don't know how the prize works, it's £15 or $15 of whichever kind of gift voucher you want that I'm able to get for you online. So well done, Joe. Um, the closest to Diamond. We have a few girls super close. I think Charlotte is now one emerald away from diamond. And um, this is really how you're going to build the road to elite, you know, going emerald and then going diamond. Um, just a brief overview for those of you guys that are newer. You need four coaches on each side and one emerald on each leg. And um, Charlotte just needs one emerald, um, which she is actually in control of. So her diamond date is the 29th of August. And I have no doubt that she's going to smash that. Ginny is is close behind I think she needs two or three new coaches and Marty and Tasha after that they're all actually in the level up mentorship group that I'm running um, moving on to the diamond retreat so it's going to be the 23rd to 25th of October it is um, available to anybody that hits these parameters whether or not you're in the UK US or Canada obviously I know with COVID there are some restrictions and as I've said to the girls that are getting close um, you will be remunerated with kind of all of the swag and everything else if you can't make it because I don't want anybody to feel like super left out. So um, you need to be a lifetime diamond rank or above um, for this trip um, and you need to hit diamond by the 10th of September. And I can honestly promise you, even if you're emerald right now, going diamond is a decision. It is literally committing to the vital behaviors every day and not letting yourself off the hook. And anybody that's emerald, even emerald now could hit that um, if they got their head down and did it. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going to be getting team shirts made, professional photography. We're going to have corporate there um, and I'm paying for it. I'm just not going to pay for your travel to get there. So I cannot wait. And that is in Nottinghamshire. Um, so success starters, we have quite a few of you guys who are still pushing for this. To be a success starter, for those of you guys that are new, hopefully you've got to that in your training, but if you haven't, it is hitting success club three of your first six months. So success club is helping three people get started with a challenge pack, whether or not they're a coach or a customer. Um, so you need to hit that parameter three out of your first six months. We have Joe who has hit it for the first month and Gail for the first month, Becca for the first month, um, Haley for the first month. Um, in fact, Haley's really close to hitting it for the second month. Um, and then the other Haley for month two, Shannon has hit it for month two, Sam for month two and Zainab I know is pushing for being a success starter. And really what that means for you, if you hit success starter, so you actually hit it for the third month, you you get your summit ticket free and really like I think it's the most exciting thing ever you get access to a test group for a brand new program and you do that brand new program as the cast are filming which is just the most incredible experience to um, really propel your business so really exciting and this is the success club board as of today. So um, I'm in at 14. Charlotte has hit success club. So well done her. She's really got her blinders on and is just diamond is non-negotiable for her. I know. Um, Helen in at six. Haley in at four. Tasha in at four. Chelsea at two. Louise at two. Laura at two. Taylor at two. Taryn, brand new coach in my team in at two. Shannon at two. Alex at two. And Charlotte, one of Marty's new coaches in at two. So well done. And for those of you guys that hit Success Club, 
this month, I'm going to do team jumpers. Um, so if you hit success club, you will get a hustle and heart team jumper. So thank you guys for voting in my poll for what kind of thing you would like. It's really important to me that, you know, you've got that extra bit of motivation. It's actually something that you would like. Um, so thanks for voting. And today, what I really wanted to talk about was your success and your mindset. Okay. And we've spoken about this on other calls, but it was actually a call that I had in my professional development training earlier on this week. And it just got so many of my synapses in my brain going that I just saw, I just have to share this with the team because it's so, so fundamental to your success. And I think a lot of the time, you know, particularly in a business that is built on visuals on Instagram, we can get down this rabbit hole of, oh, okay, that coach has done this, so therefore I need to do that too. And that's obviously why she's successful, okay? And that is, I think, probably you'll all agree, we've all had those thoughts go through our heads. And what Josh had to say on Thursday really blew my mind. And he said, we can end up running our business from a scarcity mindset, right? So if you are going into your business and you're going, okay, cool, what's that person doing? Okay, cool, that's obviously why she's successful. That's why she's seeing success because she's doing this, this, and this. And he actually shared that um, he he runs ads, right? And he the way he does them, apparently had an ads guy look at them and said, like, I don't even know how you have converted what you've converted. I have no idea because what you're doing is just completely bonkers. It doesn't make sense that you're seeing success from it, but you are. And he said, that's because in my spirit and in my heart, I know it can happen and I will make it happen. And even if the process to get there isn't perfect and it's not perfectly like um, put together, I will still get the outcome that I'm looking for. And I wanted to share that because actually for me, like we've got very different character types in this team. We've got some character types who love to have structure. You want to have a color coded spreadsheet for everything. You want to have a document to explain how everything works. I don't work like that, right? I literally fly by the seat of my pants. And I still find the way to the outcome that I want to find. And that resonated with me so much because ultimately what he was saying is it is in your heart, not in your head. It is in your like, it's this driving force that you have that says, I am going to achieve this outcome by this date, no matter what, even if the route to get there is not perfect, it's messy, it doesn't make sense. And he was talking about how, um, you know, really thinking about what makes you, you. So like, say you wrote your CV or somebody said like, what is it that you've got inside you that makes you that person that can be unbelievably successful? And you guys should know what that is, right? Like I would say, you're probably going to say something like I'm a goal getter. Like I'm super enthusiastic. I'm super positive or, you know, I don't give up. I'm a dog with a bone, whatever it is for you that is the feeling that comes from your heart, not from your head. Okay. And he spoke about how emotions and your heart are not actually linked. So we often think that our emotional tie to something is what gives us our success. Like when we write our why and we get emotional, we think, oh, well, that means that, you know, I'm going to get there because I've got a real emotional tie to it. And he spoke about the fact that actually the emotions are not really truly what drives the spirit right at the core of what we do. Um, and that for me, like really struck a chord and hopefully it does with you. Like as women, generally we're more emotional than men. Um, and so, you know, we will tie a lot of our emotion to what we do. And I think it's really important to build that separation and understand that emotion is important, but it shouldn't be the whole driver to your business. Um, and he spoke about the fundamental importance of building in that time in your day where you're really turning inwards okay and you're really focusing on what is it you want for your life why are you doing this and and really taking that time guys and I mean like 20 minutes a day whether or not you work full time just getting up that little bit earlier and again the reason why that really resonated with me is that actually that's what I do right I get up earlier in the morning and I focus on before I even look at my phone, I refuse to look at my phone first thing in the morning because for me, it is focusing on my intention, where I'm going, what it means for me and my family and really holding here to the heart why I'm doing it. 
And that is what drives me every day. And I, you know, I know I've shared this with you guys before, but I don't think I've shared it in that way. And if I think about, you know, the success that I've seen and when I really started to scale, it was when I started building that time into my day. And I can tell you that when I was away, like there isn't a day, there isn't a day that passes where I don't do that, where I'm not intentional about making at least, even if it's 10 minutes, okay, to sit down and look at my vision board, okay? And guys, we've done a call on vision, but I know we've got some newer guys here. If you haven't got a vision board, number one, because you've not had time or you've not got to it yet, please put your tracker down and do your vision board. Because I can promise you doing your tracker when you haven't connected to really, truly why you're here, why you're doing it, what it means for your life, how does that look for you? You know, this opportunity, guys, gives you the ability to have pretty much any life that you want. And I strongly believe that I've seen the success I've seen so far because I trust and believe that that is possible. It's never been a question of, is it possible? It's, it's possible and I'm getting after it and I get my blinders on, but I'm not any different from you guys. All I have done is been incredibly disciplined with that one part of my day where I sit down and I write down what I'm grateful for. I write about six things that I'm grateful for each morning. Okay. It doesn't take me long. I write down my vision. I write down um, that I want us to have financial freedom. I want us, I want to be financially independent. I don't want to rely on anybody for any income from anywhere. You know, I was brought up like that. My mum was quite an independent woman. So that's probably where it comes from. For me, it's about sending Arthur to a certain school and I write that school down and I look at that on my vision board. For me, it's about having a Maryland home on the lake because that's where we went last year and we've never been happier as a family and I want to provide that for my family and to fly first class and to really not have to worry about anything and to have a life that I never had growing up. Like we would camp for two weeks every summer in Cornwall in an A-frame tent because we didn't have enough money to do that. And I don't want that life for Arthur. And you better bet when I sit down and I write out that vision every day, it doesn't matter guys if I'm having a bad day or I'm having a hard time. And I just want to share that because we all go through hard times. Anybody that you look at like Grant Cardone or I don't know, Trent Shelton or any highly successful Melanie Mitro, all of those guys, I can promise you they have really hard times. They have really hard days. And I can promise you the reason why they dig in is because they have decided that their vision and the reason why they're doing this is too much of a driver to let themselves off the hook on the days when things get really hard or they get really shit, excuse my language, or something in their personal life railroads them because I can promise you it happens to them. And so I want you to really think about that. Do you let yourself off the hook when things get difficult? Maybe it's in your personal life or maybe your professional job is super stressful and you say, do you know what? I just don't have time right now because it's too stressful because I want you to call yourself out on that. I really, really do because you are sabotaging yourself. You really are. This business cut and dry, you can absolutely all smash this business. You can all be five star diamonds if you want to be, but it won't happen unless you've got really, really clear on why you're doing this, what you want for your life. And literally when you're like a dog with a bone with your goals and your vision, that's when it doesn't matter what happens. You are absolutely going to hit those goals and you're going to get after those visions. Right? When I, when I propelled from emerald to diamond to one to two to three star in the space of about three months the ceiling in the room that i was working in fell in the car got stolen off the drive and the house got cracks on it just as we were trying to sell the house and do you know what it didn't stop me because i said to myself this is just a sign from the universe that's trying to test me and i am not going to give up yeah it's slightly harder because i've got emotional shit that i'm dealing with but i'm still going to show up and i'm still going to do those things so really think about it and if you haven't please promise me that you will, because I can promise you that if you don't make that time to do that stuff, then when you do the bat and you're not seeing success and you're not hitting success club and you're not achieving what you'd wanted to, and you're getting frustrated, you cannot get frustrated because your, your spirit, your heart isn't aligned. Okay. And so therefore achieving that vision, it's going to be impossible. And I want to be honest about it because if I didn't have those things for me, there's no chance that I would show up in the way in the capacity that I do for my business. Um, 
So these were two principles that Josh shared and I loved it. And he said, when you manifest, there's two principles. What we sow, we reap. And what we seek is what we find. So he says, like, sometimes people think really vision, they get so visionary with stuff. They're like, well, I'm just going to manifest it and it's all going to happen. And it's, you know, I trust the process. And, but then they're not actually putting in the work to align with that vision. Okay. And I really want you guys to call yourself out on that. If that's what you're doing, like, well, I'm trying to manifest it and it's, you know, I know it's going to happen for me, but actually if you're not putting in the action to reap what you sow, it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how dreamy, how, like how much your emotions connect with your vision. If you're not actually putting in the work to achieve that vision and you're letting yourself off the hook because you think, right, well, I'll just manifest it. It's all visionary. Then that won't work either. And what we seek is what we find. And I love this because actually what we seek is what we find. And I want you guys to call yourself out on stuff. Like if you've decided that it's hard to hit success club, for example, that's what you're going to find. Okay. If you've decided that it's going to be easy to help three people each month, that's what you will find. You know, and just think about that with every single little mindset thing that goes to your head, like, well, I can't do that because of this. That's what you're going to find. Whereas if you flip the switch and you say, do you know what? This is actually super easy. And I know I can do this. That's what you're going to find. Okay. Um, super simple, but actually so true. If you think about it. Um, and this is what I was just covering a second ago. So really above all else, like seriously above even your workout, are you making that time to focus on the health of your mind each morning? Are you making that time to connect with that stuff that we all know we've shared and we've thought about, but are you doing it every day? Because I can promise you the difference between your success and your failure will be looking at that, writing it down every morning. It doesn't need to take you an hour but it's really important because otherwise you're not going to emotionally and spiritually connect with it. And what are you listening to each morning? Are you just meditating? Because guided meditation is great, but again, that's not really going to grow your mind. Okay. So make sure if you are going to meditate that you are also listening to personal development. Um, and if you're really serious about this and you're going for diamond, one star, two star, three star, you're also listening to a book that's professionally going to help you grow. There's so many professional development books out there. And I can tell you when I really started to like level up to go for kind of the residual income side of things and, and build my coach business, I was listening to professional development every day as well. Um, so really cool yourself out on that. And maybe you just need to time block that in, right? That, you know, that's what happens. Um, and maybe you need to set a timer to do it. Maybe you just skim over it because you actually find it uncomfortable and difficult. And it's like anything in life, right? When we start to create a new habit, even with like our workouts, that can feel really difficult. We're like, oh, this morning routine, I don't really fancy doing my workout this morning. But once you've started to do it over time, it becomes a non-negotiable, okay? And I've definitely been in that place where this kind of morning mindset piece was not something I wanted to do. And now if I don't do it, I literally feel so off. I don't want to do anything to do with my business. I just think it just really goes to show you how you're going to feel in connection to your business when you do that, if you're not doing it. And every day you remembering why you started, you remembering what you believe was possible with this business, or if you decided it's not possible because it's easier to let yourself off the hook. And I really want you guys to think about that because I know in this team without question, I have absolute faith in all of you. We have some absolutely phenomenal people in this team and I believe in you, but do you believe in yourself? And are you really coming back to your why? And are you really like going the extra mile with all of those things? If you get 1% better on each thing that you're doing on that bat because you are clearer on your vision and your why, I can promise you the success that you will see will astound you. It really, really will. Um, and this was what I was saying at the beginning. A person's success is not built on how they did it. It's built on why. Oh, I spelled built wrong. Um, it, it's built on why they, they're doing it. Okay. Like, a lot of people I'm sure would look at processes that I do and think, wow, there's definitely a quicker way to do that. Or she could do that. In a but I don't because I know that, yeah, it might be a long winded way to get there, but I'm still going to get the outcome I want. And it's because my why is so strong that even if it's like a dog leg to get to where my outcome is, I'll get there. 
Okay, so I want you to really think about that. Are you spending a lot of your time focusing on your processes, thinking that if you just improve this process or that process, that then you'll get there? Because I can tell you that that is you procrastinating over actually not taking action, okay? I always take the messiest action ever. You'll see me taking messy action. Here's messy action. Here's messy action. It's still fine. It still does exactly what you guys need it to do. I've spelled the word built wrong. It doesn't bother me. I take messy action. And I strongly believe that if you can encourage yourself, if you're a perfectionist type, to take messy action and just get it done, the success that you will see will, will really astound you. Um, yeah, and if the, the why is strong enough, it will get you there regardless. And it's that mindset of um, no matter what, I will achieve it. No matter what, I won't give up, right? Is that your mindset? And for those of you guys who are new, you're probably like, whoa, this is all very overwhelming. But, um, you know, if you've been in the business a little while, a little while, is that your mindset? No matter what, I'm going to keep going. I won't give up that mindset is dangerous because that is the mindset of somebody that's going to be unbelievably successful, truly. And I always say like, my train is never going to stop running. doesn't matter what happens. The train is running. The train is going no matter what. Um, and as I said, like, what excuses have you got? What is it that's stopping you? Why are you telling yourself that it's okay to let yourself off the hook because of X, Y, and Z? And I was talking to somebody earlier on today and I think it's really important. You know, I, I deliver tough love. I'm a very, very caring person. I have quite a tough exterior and I have quite a, a soft interior. And I think it's really important to share that I get it. Like I, I get it when you're going through a hard time, like this business, for those of you guys that know, a lot of you guys do, took me through the death of my mom. I lost my mom. I never got to say goodbye. I was coaching all the way through. And you better bet I understand when you're going through a hard time. I understand it, guys. I really do no matter what, I understand. And I think it's really important to number one, be real and true and to share that in the capacity that you feel you can. But number two, draw a line, okay? And then say, do you know what? Enough. This is not gonna define me, okay? Because if we become a victim to our circumstances, guess what? That defines you. That defines your ability in this world to do whatever it is you want to do. And I decided that my mother's death wasn't gonna define me. And not to say that I don't think about her every day, it was going to propel me. It was going to be my strength. It was going to be what I drew a line under and said, do you know what? This defined who I was and it got me where I am today. And yeah, I have hard days. And, and you guys will, with no matter what you're going through, like it doesn't matter. Like it could be a really stressful work environment and that's stressful. I've been there too. And it is inevitably going to affect your business. But the quicker that you can learn to rebound and go, do you know what? draw a line. Let's get this morning mindset piece in the bag because then no matter what you've got going on in your life, I can promise you that you are going to find strength for this business and you are going to find the most unbelievable success because when shit gets really hard for me, do you know what I do? I'm like a dog with a bone and I lean into that. That's my focus. That's my focus. That's my strength. That's my positivity. So just call yourself out on that because I can promise you that combination is so dangerous nothing, nothing will stop you when you've got really clear on all of that. Um, and this was just something I wanted to close out with. The most successful people still have bad days. They just have a clearer idea of why they started and they regain their focus quicker. So really think about that because it is, seriously guys, it's easier to let ourselves off the hook. It's easier to go, oh, oh, well, I've had a really stressful day. So I'm just going to lie in bed today because it's just, you know, it's understandable and having a really tough time and write off the whole day than it is to go, do you know what? I'm having a tough time. So I'm just going to take 30 minutes or an hour. I'm just going to do what I need to do. Have a cry. But I'm a crier. I'll be honest. I have a little cry about stuff sometimes, but then I'm back on my game, you know? So just think about that. Um, and I'm not saying for one minute that you shouldn't deal with stuff, right? Life is going to happen and stuff is going to happen. And it's important that you deal with it. But I think it's really important to build that mindset of, and then I'm going to move on. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop screen sharing. Hopefully. Okay, I'll feel better after that is. I, don't know, I never want to give up even when things are not going how I want. That's why I'm a belly. 
Yeah. And, and that's so true. Like when we get really like angry and annoyed about stuff, that's because we really want something. Right. And what we can tend to do if you're a bit like me is go, bah, it's too hard. Bah. Um, which I do sometimes <laughs> like have a little five minutes, but then five minutes later, um, guy will be like, you're right now. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Because my rebound time is so fast. I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm the, this dog has got this bone stuck in her mouth and I'm not letting it go. Um, so I really hope that's helped. And I just really wanted to kind of just shake you by the shoulders a little bit today to say, you know, I know like COVID is so difficult that there's environments that are impacting us across the globe. Okay. And it's a difficult time, but it doesn't have to define us. And remember what we have to offer right now is exactly what so many women across the globe really need. They need community. They need fitness and health and an environment where they feel safe. Um, and then they need to know that what they've got going on for their health and wellness is something that's sustainable, no matter what it's COVID proof. And I can't think of another business off the top of my head that can offer the same. So really, truly like share that, share that passion unashamedly. Stop worrying about what people think about you. Cause truly, if you worry about what people think about you, you're, you're never going to get there. And also I can promise you when you're clear on your vision and your why, you'll forget worrying about what people think about you because you're on a mission and you don't have time to worry about what people think about you. You really, really don't. Um, cool. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Has anyone got any questions? Stunned everyone into silence. <laughs> um, and MBFA, I think we've got quite a few of you guys starting MBFA tomorrow on a completely other tangent. So I'm super excited slash absolutely terrified for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so get ready. I haven't even done my recovery workout, but I, I can't be left behind. So I'll have to start tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that was helpful. I, you know, like, I'm sharing this because I've had somebody share this with me in the past and I've actually really needed a shaking by the shoulders, right? Um, so you are absolutely in charge of your own destiny and there is no reason why any one of you on here cannot achieve what I've achieved and actually surpass what I've achieved. That's what I want for this team. I want to look around and go, holy shit, who's that? They've literally like burnt, they've gone, for, they've left me for dust, right? And I know we've got that, but it starts here, Okay. And if you don't dedicate that time to that mindset in the morning, it won't happen. So like, seriously, if, if you ever are really short on time, which is probably because you said to yourself, it's okay to lie in bed for another 20 minutes. So that's mindset again, do your mindset and not your workout. Promise me. Cause I promise you the mindset piece is what's ultimately going to get you to your goals. Oh my God, no way. I just watched the MBFA sample and at one point Megan said she couldn't breathe. <laughs> I'm quite worried about that. Oh dear. Okay, I don't want to keep you guys for the sake of keeping you. Um, so if, if anybody that's not on um, video can come on to video so that I can do the boomerang. For those of you guys who are, are new, um, we always do a boomerang at the end. I needed this power group today. Yeah, we never quit. And as long as you don't quit and you just stay consistent, the rest will follow, I promise you. And remember, we're not perfect. It's a journey. Yeah, we're constantly growing in our mindset. Um, okay. Right. Perfect, Shania, well done. Awesome. Okay, so what we do is, well, you can wave or you can, you can do something weird if you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. And that wasn't a boomerang, it was a photo. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll post the recording in a little bit. Take care. Bye.